Welcome back, trainers. So many of you were requesting that I did test out Vigoroth alongside Talonflame with Incinerate. So we're going to go ahead and do just that. And we're also going to use Azumarill with Hydro Pump and Ice Beam. So uh, let's see what we have going on here. So we already know that Talonflame has to look out for Rock types, especially a Bastodon with Smackdown. It's just going to absolutely destroy it. Now, Yes, it is going to take it down quite quick with just quick moves and farming it down, but the Talonflame is going to be able to actually start vamping up the damage when it does continuously glow, go for Flame Charge and the uh, Incinerate. And then the Vigoroth is going to help us use the counter to take it out, and you're going to see that here down the line. Well, we do have a Bastodon lead, and we're going to be leading with Talonflame for the entire video here. Uh, so we have an Umbreon, as you can see the counter damage is just really adding up. Vigoroth is a very useful and amazing Pokemon. Body Slam is going to be great there and the counter damage is just pretty incredible honestly. That move is just good in general and it's not even getting stabbed. So we're just going to go ahead and throw in our Azumarill here to just absorb any sort of energy that the Umbreon has accumulated here. Probably going to get hit by a last resort. There it is. Still not doing that much damage and we don't really need to worry. Throwing that Alola Marowak. We're going to go ahead and let that Shadow Bone go through. No defense drop. Nothing to worry about. And we're going to go ahead and throw our Ice Beam here. We know that they want to keep this thing alive. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Talent Flame. Do believe we're going to shield this up and then go for a Brave Bird. Farming up a little bit extra here. Seeing that we're taking not very effective from the quick move. Uh, but it's going to be... Something else to get, yeah, we're not getting to to a, uh, another flame charge there. So in comes the Azumarill here. Uh, the last resort is going to be very close, as you can see. And we're able to make it to a Hydro Pump. That was a close call there. And this is going to take out the Umbreon. So yeah, personally using Vigoroth with the Talon Flame, it is coming in pretty handy. It is always going to be pretty nice, the Vigoroth, right? So we're met with a... Galarian Stunfisk here, so pretty much everything in the back is going to be able to handle this, seeing that we do have the Hydro Pump on the Azumarill, so not really too much of a threat here, although we are going to shield up once because we don't necessarily want to go down right now. They're going to be swapping, and we're going to instantly throw in our Vigoroth here, kind of almost like a blind swap. Uh, it, it's okay, it's not bad, seeing that the counter is resisted, it's a little unfortunate, but the Body Slam is going to be doing nice damage, as you're going to see here, unless they shield, letting it go through, very nice, should be able to make it to a Body Slam, oh, it is going to be a tie, and they're winning, unfortunately, now I do believe I do something crazy here, I go in with Talon Flame and start farming, we're obviously going to have to shield up a Weather Ball, we can take it, but, well, no, we'd be able to just survive with a couple HP and that would be useless. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up. Down they go. They have a shield left. We need to swap. We want to hold on all, to all this energy. Talonflame with energy is going to be pretty deadly. They have an Altaria back here, folks. So this is going to be pretty nice. Even though our shields are down, we're still going to be able to win this here using that last shield. The next Ice Beam is not going to KO, but we're going to be able to get enough farm to take it out and have energy coming out of this battle here. And there it is, getting that Ice Beam. Azumarill is just, you know, <laughs> I don't need to explain it. It's such a fantastic Pokemon to test things out or different teams. It just has a lot of usability because of its typing and its moves that it does have. And it's, of course, tankiness, giving you kind of like a, like a pause to breathe. So fortunately, we're able to get to an Ice Beam here. And before they do some sort of energy, going for a Flame Charge. And this is going to take them out. We're taking the win. I eh, probably could have just stayed with the Azumarill and farm down, but we wanted to finish it off with the Talon Flame. So we are met with another Galarian Stunfisk here. Uh, you know, it's not great because, you know, Rock Slide's so effective to you. So it's a little bit annoying here. We are going to shield this up. And go for the good old Flame Charge. If we get a shield here, that's going to be okay. All right, that's fine. It's fine. Shield for shield. That works. Another Rock Slide coming at us. We're either going to shield this or go down. So it looks like we're going to be... Shielding it up, preserving it, and they're swapping. Now, uh, you know, maybe could have went for a, a Brave Bird, but we do have that energy stored up. Now, something strange happened here. They throw an Ice Punch, so that either means that... Well, it's got to mean that they have, like, uh, one move or Fire Punch, too. So, sounds good to me. And I think they're going to throw another one here, another Ice Punch. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm guessing, like, Ice and Fire, right? Or single moves. But I, I highly doubt it's single moved. Going to go ahead and just throw an Ice Beam onto this Galarian Stunfisk here. Getting a shield. Beautiful. So shieldless battle. We do have the Vigoroth at full health. 
as well as the Talon Flame with a ton of energy ready to go. And when Shield's down, this is going to be pretty fun, although we need to look out for that Rock Slide. So let's go ahead and take out that thing before it can do some damage to our Talon Flame. Going to go ahead and swap into our Vigoroth instantly here and start, uh, you know, building up some energy before they can farm us with that quick move there and uh, gets out of hand pretty quick. We don't want that. This is going to probably obviously be an earthquake or a blizzard. And there it is. We're able to survive it and get to the body slam. Vigoroth is so amazing. We'll be running into that Bastodon lead. I'm not too sure when that is going to happen, but I was just thinking to myself, oh, that's lovely. But at least we set the team up or we have Pokemon that are going to be able to fix that. Obviously not going to go right into the Vigoroth going into the Azumarill, and they're going to be going into Toxic Croak here, so we have to look out for the Sludge Bomb. And they are building up a good amount of energy here. I think I do shield this up, and they do bait us, so very nice bait there. Getting to another Ice Beam, but they're going to be getting to another charge move here, and this is probably going to be Sludge Bomb, so we will be shielding that up. Unfortunately, using two shields on the Toxic Croak here. Do they want to shield theirs up? No, and we're going to be able to farm down, so they are holding on to one shield. And they're coming back in here with the Deoxys. So, okay. Well, so long as we can get the shield here, this will be a little unfortunate because it's Hydro Pump. All right, well, shields are down. Talonflame has a bunch of energy. Throwing in Vigoroth, and they're going to be instantly swapping because they do not know what's in the back here. And going into their Bastodon, we're just going to go for that Bulldoze, doing a ton of energy and taking them out with a, another counter here. So we're looking pretty good. Talonflame has loaded energy. We can go for that Brave Bird here. So long as we do a little bit more damage, looking good. So they've been going for Thunderbolt. I'm thinking that they have Thunderbolt and Psycho Boost, or maybe just Thunderbolt. But in which case, we don't need to worry about Rock Slide. Going to go ahead and throw in the Azumarill here so they can waste some more energy. And the Talonflame is going to be kind of clear. So there it is. Uh, that was a clear indication. They didn't need to go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, they could have just went for a rock side, but they went for another Thunderbolt. So we're perfect, beautiful, surviving, getting to the flame charge here. And we're going to be able to take out the Deoxys. Now, obviously, a rock side would have done it. But uh, yeah, they didn't have it. So we're looking great here. Into the next battle here. We're met with another Galarian Stomp. Oh my gosh. The Apes are perfectly fine. I really don't find this thing too threatening using this team. It is kind of annoying for the lead Talon Flame because we do have to shield it up. And I keep seeing you guys say you can survive one. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll do it. We'll see what happens. Okay, with this specific one here later on. Uh, probably will cost me though. So we're going to be shielding that up. Going for a, a flame charge here. Going to go ahead and vamp up this thing. Oh, they caught it with a Pelipper. Very nice. So I decided to just stay in here and farm up a little bit. And try to catch a Weather Ball. Because, well, they're going to try to throw it. Super effective. And we do successfully catch it with the Azumarill here. And that was beautiful. So now they're going to have to build all the way up to the Hurricane again, but they're not able to do it. We're able to take them down. They did not want to use that last shield, and we are still shieldless at this time while they have one. So uh, in comes Tropius. This isn't great. They're not going to be able to quite KO us here. They do have Air Slash for the Quick Moose, so they're not doing super effective, just neutral. So that's pretty okay for us. Getting to the Ice Beam, swapping into Vigoroth. They're going to be going into the Galarian Stunfisk here. And we're going to take this thing out as soon as possible. Hopefully they don't get to a charge. Well, they are now after they shield it up or not. Wow, nice. They were probably right at it. And they do back out after the Tropius comes back in there. Thank you, Vigoroth. Into the next battle. Oh, this is a beautiful lead. They're going to be swapping into Mandibuzz. Now I go into Vigoroth. I could have went into Azumarill. I could have. But I just felt like going into this. It is what it is. All right. So we're just going to have to make do with this here. Do believe I don't come out on top, but it is going to be pretty close. Obviously, the Azumarill would have been ideal, but oops. So we're just going to have to recover from this. Getting hit by another charge move here, bringing us pretty low into the red. Not looking too great. Do they want to double up on this? Well, there's the first shield double up. There's the first and getting to another body slam. I'm assuming, nah, they're going to let this go. Yeah, they're able to survive and they have energy ready to go. So now at this point, we're going to go ahead and throw in our Azumarill to absorb whatever they're going to throw at us, which we should have went in in the first place. Farming them down. The advantage that we do have is at least we have a shield. They're going in here with Beginium and I'm like, OK, we need to get the Talonflame in here ASAP because it's super effective to both of the Pokemon that they do have remaining here. 
starting to farm up and we're going to be able to go for this and it's just going to vamp up and take the win and there you go just wanted to bring you a few more battles if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and i'll be catching you all next time